Have you ever thought about quitting social media? Yes, I have actually many times. Um, unfortunately, social media is my life, so I can't just you know drop it. But um, I have thought about quitting many times. I think social media is a big time waster. It drains a lot of your energy. And you could just really get stuck on it for a long time. I feel like that you could put your energy and all that stuff into something towards your goals or something that genuinely makes you more happy. And you know, just put the screen away. You know, put all that away. Stop looking at other people. You know, focus on yourself. I think that's important. And that's just my take on it. If I could have my dream vacation, where would I go and why? Uh, and I would stay in the Igloo during the Northern Lights. I think that would be awesome. Uh, I love the cold. I love the snow. I played hockey. So I love that stuff. And I think it's just so beautiful. I was actually supposed to go last November. But uh, some complications came up for a couple months. So I unfortunately couldn't go. But uh, I definitely plan on going this year or next year. 100%. If I had to eat one meal for the rest of my life, what would I eat? Chicken Alfredo. Hands down, easiest question you could ever ask me, chicken alfredo. It is so good for you. It is so good. Like, oh my God, chicken alfredo. Number one, what advice would I give to my past self? I really got to think about this, but it might sound generic, but I do genuinely think that you should just not care what other people think. I think at a young age, I did think highly of what other people thought of me. And, you know, it just causes you to not really be yourself. And I think that if you focus on yourself and be yourself, you'll attract the right crowd, the right people towards you. Um, and, you know, just always try to be positive um, about everything. You know, not you can't control certain... You can't control things that are out of your control. You know what I mean? So only control the things you can. Um, so don't get down about things that are just out of, your, out of your control. I mean, it's just... You gotta really stay positive, duke it out, um, and I promise you, you will be so much more happy, you will feel so much better about yourself, don't care about what other people think, focus on yourself, you're number one, always, never put someone else before you. What advice would I have for someone trying to be a social creator? Uh, number one, consistency, I think everyone says this, it's really important just to get content out there and actually physically do it. Um, I think a lot of people talk and don't do. I think you should do. So, consist so consistency is number one. Um, and also, knowing the algorithms. I think this is a big one. I think if you can study the right algorithms, how things work, how it pushes out your content, studying your statistics, and really knowing when to post, what, like, what to do, what crowd to go for, stuff like that, I think you'll really find yourself over time being successful. What is something people that follow me don't know? Uh, a lot of people don't know that I actually played triple-A hockey uh, my whole life. Um, what is something most people don't know about you that follow you? A lot of people that follow me don't know that I played hockey growing up. I played triple-A hockey till I was 15. Uh, I went to California. Um, and yeah, after I went to California, I came home. I quit. I was done. And I focused on you know what I really wanted to do, what I was really passionate about, which was social media. And yeah, it worked out. What is my favorite video that I've ever posted? My favorite video that I've ever posted has to be one of my first videos on my channel, on this specific channel, because I've had many channels before, but this one, um, because, you know, it was peak quarantine, and I had all my friends, I was with all my boys, you know, we were always on every day having a good laugh. Yeah, it was just great. Everyone's kind of grown up now, so, you know, we're all busy, but we all talk still. It's been, like, almost three years, but we, we all talk uh, a lot. Those are my homies. Those are my day ones. I love them. So yeah, shout out to y'all. What's your goal for where you'll be at in three years? Man, three years is a long time, okay? But um, I see myself starting up a nonprofit organization soon. Uh, one of my biggest things in life is to, you know, mo a lot of teenagers are going through, you know, constantly, they're constantly changing. They, they don't have the right people. I think the two different generations are just seeing see things totally different i think it's a totally different world now and so i feel like teachers and stuff like that are not always the best person to talk to about your goals and stuff like that i think they just don't see eye to eye with you a lot of them um because for me personally in sixth grade i had a teacher named miss carpio she really cared about me and she really you know tap you know she really cared about my creative side and not just about my grades and this and this and this she really cared about what i had to say and think like genuinely and i think that pushed me to be the person i am today i think without her i wouldn't be anything close to where i am so i think everyone needs one of those in their life and that's the only thing that i want to do i want to motivate and you know tap into people's creative side uh, separate that from like grades and this and that and really just like focus on them as a person and what they really want in life and i think 
a lot of people get put down for things they want to do and i want to uplift that and help people you know have a better mindset because if you a lot of people if you have a better mindset you can actually accomplish what you want instead of getting knocked down and just not trying and not doing it i first went viral in 2020 I think it was around August. My friend actually posted, made a TikTok account. He posted on TikTok uh, a couple of videos, and one of them, they 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 hit the algorithm. I had three million views. It drove a hundred thousand uh, views to my channel. I gained, I gained ten thousand subscribers, and that was kind of the start of it. Um, yeah, so shout out to my boy Elijah. Uh, honestly, wouldn't be here without him. So I greatly appreciate him so much. So yeah. Do you see yourself doing social media as a long-term career? I do, but I want to use social media to show other people that they can accomplish what they want in life. And no matter how long it takes them, if they have the right attitude and to put in the hard work, they can accomplish what they want, just like I did. Um, so I see social media as more of that, but I do think the monetization world is just continuing to climb. If you don't know, monetize yourself. It's crazy how much money you can make and yeah i i do i think it's very powerful everything's coming out Dude, this is a hard one. Oh my god but yeah social media is definitely good the monetization world is amazing on all platforms um so yeah it's continuing the progress i think it's a very amazing everything is computerized and continuing to advance so yes i do who's my favorite account to follow on social media my favorite account to follow on social media hands down is alex sedlak uh, he posts motivation and he posts motivational and inspiring things a uh, very good account if you guys have never heard of him check him out he's about creating your own reality and stuff like that uh personally a role model of mine very inspiring uh, i love what he does and so yeah if you haven't yet check him out i promise you you won't regret it shout out to famous birthdays for the q a my name is zolks or jaden thank you guys so much for watching peace out